Hello health anistas and welcome to my channel 50 something. This channel is for the overall well-being of people 50 and older. But don't worry, if you're in your teens, 20s, 30s and 40s you can still apply a lot of the content. Today I want to tackle the new 2017 blood pressure guidelines that was released by the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology. What does that mean now? It used to be that in order to have hypertension, you would have to have a blood pressure that was 140 over 90 or greater. Now with the new guidelines, your blood pressure at 130 over 80 is now considered stage one hypertension. And then blood pressure at 140 over 90 is considered stage two hypertension. Blood pressure of 120 to 129 over 80 or less is considered elevated blood pressure. And so what does that mean? Does that mean we're going to start seeing people go on medication that have 130 over 80 blood pressure? Not necessarily. To give, here are five hacks that I want to give you today to help you keep that blood pressure what is considered normal and normal is normal is a systolic pressure of less than 120 and a diastolic of less than 80. So here are five hacks. Number one, if you smoke, quit smoking. If you smoke you're at a higher risk of developing high blood pressure because your arteries are narrowed and that increases your pressure. The second thing is, if you drink, drink in moderation. A woman has more than one drink of alcohol a day, and a guy has more than two a day, you are susceptible to high blood pressure. So, if you drink, drink in moderation. Three, caffeinated drinks also increases your blood pressure. So, if you are someone who drinks a lot of caffeinated drinks, reduce that significantly. Four, if you have some extra weight on you, take it off. Start lifestyle changes. Start eating more fruit and vegetables that are much healthier for your body. Cut out a lot of sugars and fats that are not healthy for your body. And you will start feeling better and your blood pressure would go down. You also need to be monitoring your blood pressure. Everyone should have a blood pressure cuff. You're friendly, as they say nowadays. Absolutely, it yep. really does it. Absolutely, yeah. No, they're very simple. Um, so, so there's a method to taking blood pressure. You want to make sure that you that you're at rest. You've been at rest for at least five minutes, typically at a seated position. A lot of times, I tell my patients to put their blood pressure cuff on their kitchen table. That way, they can just put their arms rest there, and at the end of the breakfast, they can just put t put their arm out and take the blood pressure right there. And that's a great time to take it. So, how much of this is genetic? Like my grandma and my mom both had high blood pressure. Therefore, my brothers and I all have to keep a close eye on that. Uh, how much of it is just Genetic, how much can we change by exercise and, and eating right and that kind of thing? That's great. So you can think about it uh, as, as about 50-50, so that, so that about half your risk is genetic, and it's just it's just how you are, it's just how you're wired, and, and, and it does run in the family. That's my old and, and EP. Half risk is modifiable, and so then things that, so lifestyle things that you do, the amount of exercise, diet, weight, sleep, um, caffeine, alcohol, all those things uh, affect it. So it's, it is something that we should know the number going forward, starting right. now, starting today, yep. and then try to... Actually, he used to be my electrophysiologist, and I happened to see him on television talking about that. And last but not least, five, exercise. It has been shown that a little bit of exercise, even elevating your heart rate for just 10 minutes three times a week, can significantly reduce your pressure. For instance, Personally, I walk over 10,000 steps every day and I'm completely active. But I can tell if I have not gotten my cardio in for the week that my pressure is elevated. So it'll be in the 120 to 129 range, which is considered elevated pressure. But when I start exercising again, when I start doing my cardio, it's definitely in the low range. It's in the teens or even 110 or 106. So, those are the five hacks that I have for you. Implement those things, take control of your life. Ultimately, 
the American Heart Association or the American College of Cardiology is not who's responsible for how we feel or whether we're going to go on medication or not. Um, so make sure that you take care of yourself. Now I understand that some people have high blood pressure based on genetics. So even with that, you can mitigate that combination with the medication that you're taking and lifestyle changes. So it's up to you. You take care of your body. Doing something is better than nothing. Until next time.